Mamaki is a uh, shop and leisure uh, destination in Cardiff Bay. We're, we're on the quayside, which is a lovely area just to be. People come, you know, family outings, uh, we attract people from all over the UK. When I started, one of the business objectives was to improve recycling and reduce the amount of general waste that was going to, at the time, landfill. The costs uh, on service charge to all of the tenants was over 100,000 a year. 900 tonnes of waste. So obviously it was on everyone's agenda. Uh, JLL, who are the managing agent, and um, Schroders, who are the owners. Uh, to get that down. One of the reasons that the general waste that was going to landfill was so high was due to the amount of food waste which was going into general waste, so it wasn't being segregated at source. So the first thing to do was separate food waste. We then had a lot of food waste. <laughs> food waste in hot sunny weather outside um, in, a, in a sort of service yard area it wasn't great because it attracts vermin. It smells, it's um, not a pleasant waste to keep storage in bins. We've got 36 restaurants here, so it's a lot of, uh, a lot of food waste. We needed a sustainable way to be able to uh, continue doing it. I started researching different types of food waste digesters to deal with the uh, the food waste. The simplicity of being able to feed it was another thing for us because we haven't we weren't able to we didn't want to increase staffing. Once we feed a digester uh, it goes through a process of heat and uh, microorganisms which clean up the food waste and basically turn it into either a compost or a, um, a fuel source. Uh, ultimately it's a very clean dry material which doesn't smell and attract vermin. It was a great balance for us. Um, we introduced the digester in January 2016 the cleaners do a great job of actually taking the waste away and then feeding the digester and segregating the rest of the, the waste into the appropriate bins. Um, so it's a team effort. We've reduced food waste by approximately 70%. It's averaging on around about 65 and 70% that we're actually reducing it in volume and weight into a compost. Um, we've now been using that on our planters around the scheme. We've had it uh, scientifically tested and it's a really good clean um, compost soil enhancer. It produces um, from food waste to compost in 24 hours. I still strongly believe that food waste is up there with plastic waste and um, it's a big, heavy, dirty, uh, contaminated waste which needed to be cleaned up. Take the food waste out of packaging, the packaging is then recyclable um, with just a quick rinse to take the food waste off whatever packaging it's in, it's then recyclable. You don't have to throw it in the general waste. So actually our recycling and our cardboard has gone way up as well as the glass because we've taken food waste out of it, cleaned it up and uh, recycled it. We've, we've achieved from when I first started it was 18% recycling. Everything else was going to uh, landfill. Um, it's now, we're just over the 50% mark recycled completely. Um, and in a centre where most of our waste is either glass or food, it's, it's um, you know, a real achievement. Um, it, it's been really good, yeah. I mean, we've, we've reduced approximately uh, 36,000 in, in cost a year by developing our waste strategy and um, and, and introducing the digester was a big part of that.